The Uniform Bonding Code, UBC, version 2.0, December 2006, 2243. For point zero, judicative input, generally. An official, officer or clerk will not be bonded. 1. If he uses the power of his public office, or his position in that office, or his power of enforcement. a. To harass or to oppress a citizen, or b. To create, obstacles to prevent a citizen from exercising his remedies by the due course of law. 2. If he deprives or hinders a citizen in the free exercise of rights guaranteed or of the equal protection of the law guaranteed by the constitution of the state by which the officer is employed, or guaranteed by the national constitution or of the state into which the officer's work takes him. 3. If he interferes in a citizen's U.S. constitutional first, so-called, amendment. a. Legislative rights of freedom of religion. b. Judicative rights of freedom of speech and freedom of the press, the right to access the court of public opinion, and or. c. Executive rights to peaceably assemble and petition the government for a redress of grievances, i.e., file civil and criminal complaints especially against malfeasant public officials. 4. Fn if he will not file or receive the filing of a criminal complaint, no filing fee is required, against a public official. Which such is necessary to curb the malfeasance of that official. See also, bonding of district attorneys, infra. For point 1, judicative input, specifically. The process of receipt of date input allegations for judication by the government will be bonded only if the bonding company finds that no act was committed by any official, officer or clerk. 1. To ridicule, harass, oppress, injure or punish the citizen for submission or attempting to submit affidavits, allegations, arguments, claims, criminal complaints and or damages for consideration, litigation or prosecution, or 2. Hinder or prevent the composition, writing, receiving, filing or processing of the citizen's affidavits, allegations, arguments, considerations, claims, criminal complaints and or demands. The Uniform Bonding Code, UBC, version 2.0, December 2006, 2343. This rule also applies to the composition, receiving, filing and processing of affidavits, allegations, arguments, claims, criminal complaints and demands of prisoners. For example, the enforcement process of an enforcement officer will not be bonded if the judicial process of receipt of data input affidavits is not bonded, or is not bondable. Example, translation, if it is found that an accused person was not allowed by an official or clerk to file a counter-complaint with the prosecuting attorney, then the official process of the complaint against the accused party, and all official processes thereafter will not be bonded unless and until this defect of process is rectified and the accused party has had adequate time and opportunity to recover from the damage caused by being denied the opportunity to file the said counter-complaint. An officer sued for false imprisonment for violation of the equal protection of the law, here the prisoner's right to counter-complaint because of an unbondable judicial process of failing to receive data input, will pay for the damage out of municipal, corporate property or his own personal property. 5.0 Judicative Control The court rules, jurisdiction, and the processes of consideration of affidavits and other filings, litigation, and prosecution will be bonded only if the bonding company finds that. Court Rules 1. The general rules or local rules of the court contain an explanation of the purpose for existence of each and every rule so that the purpose of the rule will take priority over the wording of the rule, and so that substance will take priority over form. 2. The general rules or local rules of the court contain common terms and plain wording and are of such simplicity that the common citizen can easily understand and easily and quickly make use of the rules without the need of a counsellor. Jurisdiction. 3. The setting of the case is proper, the parties to the action are all truthfully stated, 
and all civil and criminal elements are clearly identified and segregated into their own jurisdictional categories. 4. A criminal case brought in behalf of the peace and dignity of the state. The Uniform Bonding Code, UBC, version 2.0, December 2006, 2443. A. Has been brought ex rel accusers, that is, on the telling or relation story of the accuser with the accusation being related to the prosecuting attorney by the accuser. B. Has named the accuser in the setting of the case, and C. Contains the signed and notarized affidavit of the accuser in the body of the complaint. Otherwise, the state would become the plaintiff accuser, the case would become federal, and the bonding company would become potentially liable for an agent's false accusation and false imprisonment of a party to the case. 5. In the U.S. Constitutional 7th, so-called, amendment, civil elements of answering, discovery, deposition, interrogatories, etc., have been put on temporary hold as a U.S. Constitutional 6th, so-called, amendment protection against self-incrimination pending a U.S. Constitutional 6th, so-called, amendment prosecution. 6. The U.S. Constitutional 6th, so-called, amendment processes have been carried out before the U.S. Constitutional 7th, so-called, amendment processes have proceeded, and these 6th, so-called, amendment processes have proceeded without delay. Consideration of affidavits. 7. All affidavits have been considered, answered and affirmed or denied categorically, point for point in writing. Litigation and prosecution. 8. All officials, officer and clerks involved in the processes of litigation have obeyed the Constitution of the United States of the state wherein they are employed, so that a. The citizens involved have received equal protection under the laws, and B. The citizens' remedies by the due course of law have been protected and guaranteed. 9. The officials, officers, and clerks involved in the processes did not operate the court and or the judicial process as a closed union shop, that is, did not exclude or hinder non-union lawyers, non-union counsels, non-union paralegals, non-union laborers or any other non-union citizens from exercising the equal profession, the equal practice, the equal performance the equal perfection and the equal protection of the law. 10. The officials, officers, and clerks involved in the processes did not act in concord, agreement, union or conspiracy to interfere with or minimize. The Uniform Bonding Code, UBC, version 2.0, December 2006, 2543. The citizens' creative access to discovery, evidence, counsel and or remedy by the due process of the law the uniform bonding code ubc version 2.0 december 2006 2643 service of legal process 11 no party to the case nor the court has been allowed to use the u.s mail to serve papers which are required by law to be served not sent a U.S. postal carrier is not employed and bonded as a witness, hence is not a lawful legal process server. 5.1 Bondability of lawyers and attorneys Lawyer and attorney are not synonymous. Attorney Law To agree to recognize a new owner of a property or estate and promise payment of rent to him. Feudal Law to consent to the transfer of land by the Lord of the Fee, and to the continuance of one's own holding under the new Lord, also, to accord homage to a Lord. Atonement Feudal Law The acknowledgement by the tenant of a new Lord on the alienation of land, also, the acknowledgement by a bailey that he holds property for a new party. Funk and Wagnall's Practical Standard Dictionary Atonement Law to turn over, to transfer to another money or goods, to assign to some particular use or service. To consent to the transfer of a rent or reversion. To agree to become tenant to one as owner or landlord of an estate previously held of another, or to agree to recognize a new owner of a property or estate and promise payment of rent to him. 
a turn feudal law. To turn over, to transfer to another money or goods, to assign to some particular use or service. Where a lord aliened his seigneury, he might, with the consent of the tenant, and in some cases without, a turn or transfer the homage and service of the latter to the alienee or new lord. Atternment. In feudal and old English law a turning over or transfer by a lord of the services of his tenant to the grantee of his seigneury. Lordship title, seigneur, sir, the doctrine of atternment grew out of the peculiar relations existing between the landlord and his tenant under the feudal law, and the reasons for. The Uniform Bonding Code, UBC, version 2.0, December 2006, 2743. Rule never had any existence in this country, and is inconsistent with our laws, customs, and institutions. Black's Law Dictionary Revised 4th Edition We need to take a very close look at these words in order to understand the role of an attorney. The setting is Old England, the aristocracy held the land. The lower class tilled the land as tenants. When the land changed hands from one aristocratic lord to another aristocratic lord, a treaty was made between the tenants and the new lord lest civil war break out between the tenants and the new lord. This transfer of power with treaty was called atternment. Atternment was the method of peacefully passing land from one aristocrat to another aristocrat without disturbing the class structure. It consisted of a peaceful method of maintaining a noble class of citizens acceptable to the common people. This does not mean that the common people liked the situation but they suffered evils while evils were sufferable, and made their treaties of atonement. Therefore, in English law atonement was a method of guaranteeing an unequal protection of the law for the rich and the poor, but one which was at least tolerable for the poor. It was a peaceful maintenance of the class structure. An attorney's role in this system was to provide the ceremony of the acquiescence of the poor, and to do so in such a manner, modus operandi mo as to preserve and maintain the class structure. The peaceful unequal protection of the law. It is eminently clear that an attorney's role has not changed. Attorneys practice atonement. Lawyer. A person learned in the law. One who understands law and who loves law for its capacity to rectify the evils of society. One who professes and practices liberty and justice for all and therefore the equal protection of the law. Lawyers practice law. The US Constitution provides over 30 guarantees of the equal protection of the law. A lawyer supports those provisions of guarantee, an attorney opposes those provisions. In America, a lawyer obeys the US Constitution, the supreme law of the land. An attorney does not obey the US Constitution. Therefore, technically, a lawyer is bondable and an attorney is not bondable. State bar associations, which deal with both extremes, must therefore rely upon self-bonding. Testing and counsel. There are both good and bad counsels. In reality, many so-called lawyers practice atonement, and many so-called attorneys practice law. Most people think the terms lawyer and attorney mean the same thing, and would not even know how to distinguish one from another. Even the professionals call. The Uniform Bonding Code, UBC, version 2.0, December 2006, 2843. Themselves, attorneys at law, a contradiction of terms which shows the confusion which prevails in law. For the present purposes of the Uniform Bonding Code, the councils will not be discriminated against because of the term they use to identify their occupation. Only their behavior and track record will be used to determine their bondability. You know a tree by the fruit which it bears. An apple tree does not grow cherries, and a cherry tree does not grow apples. To cite an extreme example, a lawyer will file criminal charges against a judge for failure to protect a citizen's U.S. constitutional rights, an attorney will not. There are many such tests, and contracts of specific performance can be provided to would-be councils to find out what they are actually ready, willing, and able to do. When it is necessary, a lawyer will act as a substitute and go to jail for a cause in which he believes, 
whereas an attorney will only dabble at law, will ask to be removed from a case when the going gets rough and becomes a battle, will run in the face of the enemy, and therefore deserves a summary court-martial.